idol, Zedle's idol, Zedle Zoo. <laughs> I need a little zoo here. Hey, Lucy, today's show, it's about zoos. Are you excited, Lucy? I know I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, so excited. So excited. Let's do it. Hey, friends, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, friends, will you please share with me an animal that makes a fun sound? For example, Old MacDonald had a zoo, E-I-E-I-O, and on his zoo he had a wolf, E-I-E-I-O, with a howl here and a howl. There, you're a how, there, a how, everywhere, a how, how, old MacDonald had a zoo, E I E I O. Hey, Nikhil, will you share an animal that you feel makes a fun sound? I would, I think a gorilla makes a fun sound. Oh, gorilla, what does it sound like? Can you demonstrate for me? <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got it, okay. Old MacDonald had a zoo, E I E I O, and on his farm he had a gorilla, E I E I O, with a ooh, 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 here, and a ooh, 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 there, here, ooh, there, ooh, everywhere, ooh, 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 ooh. Old MacDonald had a zoo, E I E I O. <laughs> hey, Lucy. Um, what animal do you feel makes a fun sound? Okay, okay, we mean, um, um, the, the rooster. The rooster because they do kikiriki. They don't do cockadiddle do like you guys in English. No, no, they say kikiriki. I love it. I love it. I love it how animals around the world have, yeah, different sounds and how it's, it's so cool. Okay, so teach me again. Kiki Kiki Got it. Thanks. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a zoo, E I E I O. And in that zoo there was a rooster, E I E I O. With a Kiki Dee here and a Kiki Dee there. Here a Kiki Dee there a Kiki Dee everywhere. Kiki Dee Dee Dee. Old MacDonald had a zoo, E I E I O. A pig. And on the zoo there was a pig, E I E I O. With an oink oink here and a oink oink there here a oink there oink everywhere oink oink old mcdonald had a zoo e i e i o <laughs> that's my favorite part to sing is the e i e i big finale oh <laughs> let's go see what moby's gonna share with us today that a zoo is much more than just a fun place to visit. Yeah, zoos allow us to see and learn about animals that we wouldn't normally get to see. They take good care of the animals at the zoo, and they make sure their food and homes are very much like their natural home. Zoos also help protect animals with conservation and preservation programs. Have you ever been to the zoo? What animals would you like to see and learn more about? I wonder how many animals there are in the entire world. I haven't thought about it. Friends, it's time for today's one, two, three sentence story. Let's write a story in three sentences. In the first sentence, we set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. But don't worry, because in the third sentence, there is a solution. Share with us a person, place, or thing. Let's get rolling. Hey, Nikhil, share with me the very first word, any word at all, to start the story. Hmm, maybe a hand, a door. A door. I love it. Thanks, Nikhil. All right, the story will begin, and the word door is in the sentence. Okay. I decided to open up my front door and head on over to the zoo. 
<laughs> so we know I'm leaving my house. I'm on my way, heading down to the zoo. But oh no, there's a problem. Seal. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. All right, there's a problem with the seal. There I am, leaving my door, heading to the zoo. Okay, seal. Okay. I opened up my front door, and I headed on out down to the zoo. As I got to the seal habitat, I realized that, hmm, problem at the seal habitat. Ooh, Wimage board. I see the seal has a ball. I'm wondering if the problem might have something to, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. When I got to the seal habitat, I noticed there was a ball stuck to the nose of the seal. Oh no! What happened? The seal's like, there's a ball, there's a ball, stuck to my nose, stuck to my nose. <laughs> I don't know if that's what the seal sounds like. Yes, I'm going to try to help you. Friends, we need a word. Something that will help solve this problem. The problem of the, of the ball stuck to the seal's nose. Balloons. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, from the top. I opened up my front door and I headed on out down to the zoo. When I got to the seal habitat, I noticed a ball was stuck on the nose of the seal. Oh no, what happened? The seal's like, there's a ball, there's a ball. I immediately deployed my rescue balloon to detach the balloon safe and sound. <laughs> Look at that, the balloon is going to save. Do, do, friends, do you have a, a uh, what did I call it? A, a balloon safety? No, what did, I forget what I called it. I'm gonna call it a balloon safety kit. Yeah, the balloon can go and magically solve any problem. Well, we should use this for future stories, friends. I think so. The zebra agrees. I love it. Well, thanks, Image Board. We'll check back with you later and see what else you might add to today's Image. Fun story. I really got. I'm gonna really stick to more about that. Balloon safety kit. All right, friends, let's find out uh, how to say today's word, zoo, in some different languages. In Spanish, zoo is zoológico. Zoológico. In French, zoo is zoo. Zoo. In American Sign Language, zoo is signed zoo. In Swahili, zoo is bustani yawanyama. Bustani yawanyama. In German, zoo is zoo. Zoo. Zoo in Haitian Creole is zoo. Zoo. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Whew, friends, guess what? We are excited to launch the first of our partnership with the John Ball Zoo for today's segment of Going to the Zoo. Here, going to the zoo with all our See ya. Kitchen! Hi, Wimmy! I'm outside the commissary where Shakira's gonna share with me how they prepare the food for the animals! Let's go check it out! Hello! I'm Shakira and we are here at the zoo kitchen. And this is where all of the animal food gets prepared for all the animals who eat every single day here at the zoo. Some of our animals eat lots of fruits and veggies. Like right now, I'm working on preparing a salad for the spider monkeys. And some of our animals also eat different types of food, kind of like if you have a dog or a cat at home, they might have special dog food or special cat food. But here at the zoo, we have so many different kinds of animals that we also have special toucan food, special bear food, monkey food, all sorts of different foods that we can feed to our animals. And some animals don't eat fruits or veggies, 
and we take care of them too. We might have some meat or fish or other different things that we can share with our animals as well so that they can stay healthy and be happy every single day and well fed. So we have recipes for all of our animals we prepare things for. So after we finish following the recipe, we have to measure everything out and cut it exactly how it's supposed to be cut with our cutting board and our knife. And after we get all of our items, like apples, berries, bananas, and we make it all the way to the end of our recipe, then we're finished with our meal. And then we've got everything that we need in its own container. So each animal or each group of animals, sometimes they share their lunch or dinner, will have its own name tag. So for instance, this one here is for Sammy the chimp, and he has his own little container by himself um, because each of the chimps get their own little meal. So I've got Sammy's name tag here, and I'm going to put that in there and close our container, and that'll be ready to go for Sammy. And we've got a few more that are different sizes. So Sammy had really big pieces, and our little monkeys have little small pieces for them to have, but they're a lot smaller than the chimpanzees. Um, we've got a few other options as well, and here is Yogi Bear's diet all finished. And Yogi Bear is a bear, so Yogi eats really big pieces, and we have to make sure that they don't roll away because the bears have a hill that they live on and we don't want them to roll down the hill so we have to think about all those things before we finish making their meal and once they're finished and they're all packed up then they get put into another big box and we deliver our big box to the zoo and then the animals receive all of their food for the day and then our zookeepers help to give them their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's the day at the Zoo Kitchen. So we appreciate you visiting. Bye. We're going to the zoo with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to see a kitchen. Oh, man, that was so cool seeing how they prepare the food. I don't know about you, but that salad, the fruit, the right? Doesn't it look delicious? Man, thanks. Uh, thanks to our friends, uh, Jamba Zoo. Thanks, Shakira, for showing us about your kitchen. All right, friends, it is that time when we're going to check in with Sibley for Sibley's <laughs> I don't know. Which animal does really get invited to play games? The cheetah! <laughs> Never pays to cheat. Yeah, that's good advice, Sibley. Friends, let's take a deep breath. Breathe in. Hold it. Let it out. It's time for slowing down. In. Hold it. Let it out. That zoo was just like the zoo I've got right here at my desk. <laughs> All right, friends. We we love books. It's time for check out this book. <laughs> Miss Myra here from the Ventura County Library. I'm so happy to be here with all of you today. Wimmy, I had such a hard time. There are so many wonderful books about this week's theme, the zoo. But at the end, I decided to go with an informational book, otherwise known as a nonfiction picture book. And the title is, What Do They Do With All That Poo? Written by Jane Kurtz illustrated by Alison Black, and it was published by Simon & Schuster. 
This was such a fun book to read. Have you ever asked your question, yourself that question? What do they do with all that poo? So at the beginning of our book, they go over different names for poo. My favorite one is scat. And then they go over different animals and their poo. Did you know that panda's poo does not smell? Yeah, because they mainly ate bamboo. How cool is that? And then they go over to answering the question. What do they do with all that poo? Hmm. My favorite, there's different answers, but my favorite was, did you know that out of a certain animal at the zoo, they can make paper? Yes, you heard that correctly. Paper. Which one do you think? Hmm. Guess what? I will let you find out when you visit your public library and check out this book. See you next time. <laughs> that book's awesome. I had no idea that panda's poo did not smell. What about you, cow? I got to pick you back up, cow. Sorry about that. And the snake and the lion. Man, I love it. Thanks, friends. Hey, it is time to play a game. We're going to play the alphabet game. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Let's throw up the letters. Friends, we are here on the show and friends at home, we got to come up with words. Any words that start with these letters? I'll start first with letter A and I'll say alligator. Ooh, good one. F, flamingo. H, horse. Nice. Um, L, lemur. Oh, I love it. P, panda. T, tiger. W, walrus. Nice. Z, um, zebra. Oh, zebra. Back to A. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go off the the topic and say algebra. Wow. I was gonna say, Wimmy. I was so impressed that we actually stuck with okay. animals all we that did. time. We did. All right. Um, F. I'm gonna say food. Ooh, nice. H. I'm gonna say, um, um, helado. <laughs> I can't that's cool. In English. <laughs> oh, oh, that's okay. Teach us the word. What was the word? In, ice cream. That, helado. Ice cream. Oh, nice, nice. I love it. Let's choose any language when we play this game. Oh, sorry. I can't think in English sometimes. <laughs> you don't have L? to apologize for that, Lucy. That's amazing to speak two languages. L could be lion. Lion. Okay. P. Penguin. Ooh, good one. Uh, T. Turtle. Nice. W. Wonderful dog. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Bring um, us home, Z Nikhil. Z could be a uh, zigzag sal salamander. Woo! Love it. Zig -zag Impressive. Pretty good. <laughs> Great work, friends. Thanks for playing Alphabet Game. All right, friends. Guess what? Guess what? Indeed, you've seen him on the show so far. But now is the time when I say it's time for... Chip time. I love yeah. how you always you always keep us guessing. I never know if it's gonna be it's gym time or if it's it's gym time. I never know. I'm impressed. Thanks. All right, friends. I need to know if we're gonna go to the animal. Share two animals that you would like to see. Any two. I need a combo. Wimmy, what two okay. animals would you go to see? We're going to the zoo. We're the first two. You go. Okay, for sure. We got to see this and this. Yeah, right, right on my desk. Uh, I'm going to see snakes and frogs. Frogs. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. 
We're going to the zoo with all our friends And when we're there we're gonna see some snakes and frogs Snakes and frogs, snakes and frogs, snakes and frogs, snakes and frogs When we're there we're gonna see some snakes and some frogs Snakes and frogs, snakes and frogs, snakes and frogs, snakes and frogs When we're there we're gonna see some snakes and some frogs Nice job, Wimmy. Uh, how about we ask Mikhail? Mikhail, what two animals? You see, for sure we got to see these two. Um, monkeys and spiders. Monkeys and spiders. All right, I like it. Monkeys and spiders, monkeys and spiders, monkeys and spiders, monkeys and spiders. When we're there, we're going to see some monkeys and some spiders. Monkeys and spiders, monkeys and spiders, monkeys and spiders, monkeys and spiders. When we're there, we're going to see some monkeys and some spiders. And you know, there's... Spider monkeys. I don't know if there's monkey spiders, though. We'll have to check that out. Ooh, walrus and koala. Nice. We're going to the zoo with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to see the walrus and koala. Ooh, this is going to be a tongue twister. Walrus and koala, walrus and koala, walrus and koala, walrus and koala. When we're there, we're going to see the walrus and the koala. Lion and cheetah, lion and cheetah, lion and cheetah, lion and cheetah. When we're there, we're going to see the lion and the cheetah. Oh. <gasps> And the tiger and the zebra. We're going to the zoo with all our friends. And when we're there, we're gonna see a tiger and a zebra. Tiger and zebra, tiger and zebra, tiger and zebra, tiger and zebra. When we're there, we're gonna see a tiger and a zebra. Tiger and zebra, tiger and zebra, tiger and zebra, tiger and zebra. When we're there, we're gonna see a tiger and a zebra. What do you say, Lucy? Giraffes and Sloths! Oh, two of my favorites! Giraffes and sloths, giraffes and sloths, giraffes and sloths, giraffes and sloths. When we're there, we're gonna see the giraffes and the sloths. Giraffes and sloths, giraffes and sloths, giraffes and sloths, giraffes and sloths. When we're there, we're gonna see the giraffes and the sloths. Nice job! That's fun. There's so many animals to see at the zoo, right? Ooh, it's yeah, hard to just choose two. Yeah, and different zoos have different animals that they yeah. help and feature and um, learn about and teach about. Oh. Whew. Do you know how many animals are in the world, Jim? I was wondering that earlier. I think there's more than we can count. That, with our hands and feet, that's One, for sure. Two, three, four. Yeah, you're probably more, more than we can count. Whew. All right, great stuff, Jim. All right, bye, friends. Thank you. We're going to the zoo with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to go back to the Wimage Board and find out what's happened. Hey, Wimage Board. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, whoa, oh, I see the animals in the... We're taking balloon rides at the zoo. <laughs> oh, man, so fun. The balloon, the magic balloon, which helped the seal with the ball and the balloon, I think is maybe the balloon, it called its hot air balloon friends and said, balloon rides at the zoo. <laughs> good stuff, Wimage Board. I love it. We'll see you soon, Wimage Board. Keep creating the good stuff. Whew. All right, friends, we're going to play our game that we call Find It Fast. Friends, can you find something that starts with Z? Like zoo. Can you find something with spots or stripes? Animals sometimes have spots or stripes. And can you find an animal or a stuffed animal? Friends, see what you can find. Let's go to Lucy. Lucy, what did you find? I, I found a zebra. A zebra because it starts with a Z. And then I have an animal here that has stripes. And then she makes me laugh too. Let me see. Um, come, come on over. Come on over. Oh, oh, it's Miss Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Miss Sarah. She likes this. She likes to be here. <laughs> I'm so glad Lucy invited you. <laughs> Great work. Keep up the good work. Okay, friends, what else starts with Z or has stripes or a stuffed animal or an animal? Nick Hill, what have you found? I also found a zebra. Oh, cool. Let's see a close-up of that. Can we zoom, put it right up to the camera? Oh, that's awesome! That looks great! Zebra! I love it, Nikhil. Nice! All right, friends, keep on looking! What can you find? 
Wait a minute, that was all three, wasn't it, Nikhil? Zebra with stripes and an animal. Ding, 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 ding. Got to make sure I got the full credit there for the trilogy. Ding, 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 ding. Jim, what have you found? Well, you know, it just works out. I've got a zipper on my shirt. Yeah. Or it's a sweater, actually. I've got stripes on my shirt. I didn't even plan this. And then I don't have a stuffed animal. Oh, I, I have a stuffed scribble, Jim. This is the <laughs> blonde variant version with the tag Whoa. still on. Collector's Whoa. item. It's worth a lot of money. So. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that counts. Nice. Friends, have you found anything that starts with Z? Or has spots or stripes? Or is an animal? Or a stuffed animal? Zebra, indeed. Ding, 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 ding. Turtle has spots, indeed. Thanks, Grace. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we check in with the zoo later on uh, down, the, down the year here, they're going to have an Eastern box turtle to share with us. Oh, man, so cool. So cool. Well, friends. What a great show! Thanks for much. For, uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Let's get going to the dance party. Woo! Friends, dance with us. Thanks for being with us today to sing, to create, to explore, to learn about animals. Thanks for being you. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Akrisher. Consumers Credit Union, Meyer, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, and with additional support from these great partners.